so hello guys and welcome to another video so this is my graphic art and in this video I will show you how to undervolt uh, 4080 this can apply to any other model so let's begin firstly we need um, MSI afterburner because we need to monitor our voltages our GPU core frequency and the temperatures and power consumption so i'm going to show you the settings that i have uh, for uh, msi afterburner if you need to set it up just pause the video and uh, do as uh, i have here i'm just moving a little bit faster so that we don't spend too much time and seeing how i can set up this and this is river tuna statistics the one that will show us the graphs when we run benches this is just the plugin that shows everything on the screen the what you want to monitor so we need this one so let's look a little bit at the test run for um, guardians of the galaxy i found out that this game is actually quite good to pinpoint the highest frequency that my um, my graphics card can achieve and at what um, core voltages but feel free to use any other game and here you can see at 2775 uh, frequency at uh, 1.075 v core so we want to achieve uh, this we want to have a frequency of 2775 but we need to lower the core voltage a safe bet will be lowered by 100 millivolts this will work for most of the rtx 4080 if you have really bad one you're unlucky you cannot achieve that you'll just need to play more with the v core and the frequency to achieve a good undervolt and now we need to make sure that we have frequency of 2775 this is for my graphic card at the core voltage of 0.97 as you saw i had an issue there and it had like to readjust the graph so actually we have our core voltage and frequency so how to choose that just have multiple runs in multiple benchmarks and just note what is the highest frequency achieved and at what core voltage so now we have a 0 0.975 and we will see the result that are more or less in line with what we had prior to our run so let's adjust a little bit let's make let's see if we can have a better uh, run or we can actually decrease a little bit the core voltage to see how it performs if we lose any um, performance so the um, safe spot is around 90 millivolts less than the highest uh, v core uh, voltage that you saw and now we're trying to adjust to uh, see if we can have um, better clocks or we can achieve the same frequency at the lower voltage core but let's see if we have a better run this time around as you can see now it's still 09.7 and we have a frequency of 2760 and the run is more or less the same as you can see so now let's see what can happen when we undervolt and we use a higher frequency than our card can handle at a given voltage most of the time the games will just crash and it will give you errors but there are some times some issues that are a little bit peculiar and those are because of the undervolting with a higher frequency so sometimes we can the the games will not crash they will run without any issue but you will see that you have glitches in the game meaning that uh, you sometimes will not have some texture or there is some issue with the game and that is because of um, our undervolt as you can see here something just happened the camera just moved back and now it's passing through the floor going below as it should and not i shouldn't do that so most of the time the games will crash but when you see issues like this you should know that it's because of the undervolt that you applied meaning that you you set the frequency 
too high for the current voltage and it may have issues because of that as you can see we have a 2820 at a 0 0.97 and i know for sure that my graphics car cannot handle this and it has issue because of that some games are stable some of them exhibit some minor glitches but i know for sure that this is not sustainable for my car this is from around when I was pushing actually my car to see uh, with what frequency I can set for a 0 0.97 uh, V-Core. So don't be afraid to play a little bit with the clocks. If you want to be safe, just use the, uh, the frequency and, and V-Core voltage that I mentioned, meaning like minus 90 or 100 from the maximum that you saw on your benchmark runs. This will improve a bit the thermals, the power, it will to lower the power usage of your graphics card, but don't think you will have a big increase in performance. Think you will get like 2-3% more, but the graphics card would be uh, cooler, quieter, and you'll be able to sustain these clock speeds. Uh, when you act activate ray tracing and you have everything set to max. I hope this video was really helpful and you are now able or have the courage, so to say, to play a little bit with the clocks. So don't be afraid to do that. If you liked the, the video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel.